Okay, I have run into a significant problem. I swapped the jackpot mechanism from another comet because I realized in this one I'm missing this plastic piece, which is key. And if I look really close inside there, I can actually find out that it's broken in there. I swapped it over and I put this arm here on here, but it doesn't fit. So, I have to make a piece that has a little clothing on it, like this, with a shorter arm. Time for more fun with paper clips. Well, this is the chewy version of the <coughs> replacement arm. I swapped in the jackpot from the now spare parts machine, so you can see that little piece is here. And the little arm, and this arm used to go straight out. Obviously, it couldn't have been the original because this plastic covers in the way. So, so I bent the arm and hooked it onto this nut, this uh, bolt, put a nut. I think I'm going to have to put something to block how much it slides up and down, but uh, let me just show you that action. Here we go. Putting one in the front. It works. Now I just have to make some uh, tray covers here. So that we don't get doubling up. But that's not too hard compared to some of the other things we've had to do here. I think the arm is binding just a little bit right there. Gotta get the angles right. We're close. I think I'm close, but I need to limit how much that nut is sliding in the slot. So I'm gonna use these little aluminum clips that came off of my new socks and see if those will help. Okay, that seemed to do it. I might put a little blob of solder there just to hold it, but that little, little cross piece for now will do. I might put a washer on there. I think we're in business. The mechanicals are ready. Now I've got to work on the face. Okay, soldered that little piece of aluminum across there. It's not really soldered since it's aluminum, but it's held in its position and I think that's going to work. Another chewy fix. Alright, so on to the play field next. Yay. Okay. 